Over the course of Dan Huff's 40 year and counting career, only two pieces of gear appear to have stood the test of time. Last year we saw several videos of Dan still using his heavily modified 1963 Fender Stratocaster, both from a series of videos shot inside Blackbird Recording Studio in Nashville and also on a recording session for Joe Varner where Dan himself was playing guitar. Dan has been using this guitar for ever and we see it featured heavily on his instructional VHS from the early 90s. In said video, Dan is sitting before a wall of amps and one of said amps is the PV Classic 50 head. Dan used a PV Classic 50 on a session back in the day and was allegedly so taken with the amp that he insisted on buying that very unit from the recording studio. Throughout Dan's subsequent session career, we see plenty of photos of him using this amp in studio environments and PV even used Dan on some of their promo material. None of this is news exactly, it's well documented, Dan's fondness for this amp. However, what caught me off guard is at the end of the video where Dan is recording for Joe Varner, filmed last year, as the camera pans around at the end of the video, what do we see sitting in the corner but that same PV Classic 50 head? We know that Dan's rack was decommissioned some time ago and has since been acquired and lovingly resurrected by Andrew Rahajo. However, I thought it was so cool that the PV has survived all this time and is still being used in Dan's studio. So at the end of last year, an early 2000s Classic 50 came up for sale in London at a price that I could not resist. So out of sheer curiosity, I acquired one for myself. The amp cost me £350, including a custom made flight case. And when I'd got it home and plugged it into my recording setup, I was pretty blown away. Um, at how well this amp held its own against other amplifiers which are literally 10 times the price of the Classic 50. The purpose of this video is to show you what this amp can do and to negate any doubt you might have about picking one up should you have the opportunity to. The PV Classic 50 head is a two channel amplifier. It has a normal and a bright input. It has a master presence and master volume control a three band EQ, which is shared by both channels, reverb, an effects loop, and a pre and post gain on the crunch channel. The last clip you heard was recorded using the crunch channel and the bright input, and I kept the settings of the amp exactly the same for both guitars, so you can hear how great this amp is for 
overdubbing. The PRS and the Tyler are quite different in character. So that was sufficient to get two great complementary guitar sounds without even touching the amplifier. For this next clip, I am maxed out the pre-gain control and boosted into the front end of the amp using just the boost side of the Rev tilt pedal. This amp has a good amount of gain all by itself, but to get that Dan Huff style singing lead tone, I wanted to hit the front end of the amp a little bit harder, and that's why I used the boost at about 12 o'clock. Aside from having a great crunch channel that takes pedals very well, I was pleasantly surprised at how good the cleans of this amp are. For this next clip, I use the clean channel in conjunction with a compressor and a chorus pedal with some wet effects added in post. And finally, I want to demonstrate how well this amp works for overdubbing. When you hear Dan talk about his Classic 50, it seems like that was probably its main purpose, was as an amp to layer with perhaps his Mesa Boogie or his Kasha Rock Mod. And it fulfills this role exceptionally well. There is something quite unique about the gain structure of the PV, which is martial-ish, but it is somehow a little bit brighter, a little bit more median, and it just sits in a mix so well. If you are enjoying these videos and you'd like to support me in making more of them, please consider becoming a Session Heroes patron. And you'll get access not only to the transcriptions and tabliture for all of the solos and guitar parts that I transcribe for these videos, but you will also get the backing tracks which I recreate from the ground up. I really love making this kind of content, but it takes a lot of time and a lot of work so if you enjoy what i do 
the best way that you can possibly support me doing more of that and doing it more frequently is through the Session Heroes Patreon page. So this concludes our look at the PV Classic 50 head. I hope that for any of you that have ever been curious about this amp, that you found this video informative. And once again, I wanna reiterate that if you get the chance to pick one up at a good price, I think you should absolutely do so. And I think that you'll derive a lot of joy from it. Thank you folks. I hope you have a wonderful winter break with your friends and families, and I will see you in the new year.